No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world, and today we have a very, very good friend of the No Jumper world. I've decided. Okay. Yes. Gianna Dior is in the building, and I brought Little House Phone with me yes. for backup, just so I wouldn't be intimidated. Okay. How you doing? I've, I've, you got to get right in that mic. <sighs> exactly. <laughs> She's freaked out by the ASMR yeah, that is like, going on in the headphones. I can hear too much. I don't like that. Right. Ew. Wait, why, why would you be intimidated? She is intimidated because she she's, feels weird about Wait, showing her voice to the world. She's intimidated or you're intimidated? I'm not intimidated. I think she's a little intimidated. Oh. I'm intimidated by the by the microphone for sure. Really? I was going to say, haven't you guys done the do already? She's more yeah. used to like a boom mic. Yeah. Uh, hanging there yeah. above mm. what she's doing. It's different when you're talking right into the mic. Yeah. I That's usually awesome. can't hear myself like this. That's cool that you know that, though. I was going to break it to you on this podcast that me and her have uh, worked okay. together. I think you texted me that like yesterday. Oh, did I? You were like, I, <laughs> you were like, I already smashed. So <laughs> I don't know why I give you like the surfer voice in my head. Like, yeah, I already smashed. So right. How do you feel about that? Kind of gross. I mean, I fuck a lot of people. Not a gold mm. star on your record. Wow. No, definitely you're a gold star. Really? Yeah. Ooh. It was definitely something different. I'm a high value man. What a fucking ugly ass white guy. I was just more excited to fuck Lena. To be quite there honest. There you go. Why do girls always say that? Why <laughs> can't I have my go. moment? <laughs> girls always want to say, "Oh, I like Lena more than you." I mean, at least at least you like you get in where you fit in with with the Lena thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I speak for the average size white penis guys. <laughs> yeah. You know? That's yeah. not what Flacco said. I'm not Johnny Sins out here, bruh. I don't know who that is. You got the thing. You don't know who Johnny Sins is. Mm -hmm. He's such a fucking amateur. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm like. <laughs> yeah, I know like Pinky. <laughs> That's it. And like <laughs> Pinky and Brian Puffer, and then yeah. I haven't paid attention to porn since that. Yeah. Oh my god. Like I like when when he said uh, Gianna, I thought you meant like uh, Gianna Michaels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was yeah. like, damn, you pulling her out of retirement? You get that mistake a lot. Not really, because it was so long ago. She doesn't really right. yeah. shoot anymore. Does so. she not shoot anymore? Mm -hmm. She was so fine back in the day. Yeah. Where's she at now? Y'all should collab because they got the same name. People always end up having that conversation about any girl who was in porn in the 90s or early 2000s or whatever. It's in like, the 90s? It's always like, what happened to her? Because so many girls Did just separate from it at a certain point and just want nothing to do with it. Yeah. Or they just kind of age out of it where nobody's really trying to see them once they're like 45 or whatever. Did yeah. porn even exist in the 90s? Yes. Barely. I didn't exist in the 90s. So. When, when were, were you born? born? 97. Oh, okay. Most of the I 90s. I kind of existed. Yeah, yeah. Fact. You were three on Y2K. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> I was, I'm 93, so I was yeah, I was 83. So I got a nice. Are ten, you joking? I got a 10 piece on you. Jesus. 83. Mm. I'm an 83 baby. What the fuck old are you? Damn. 38. I'm a yeah. 38 baby. Yeah. I thought you were like. <laughs> <laughs> Only me like and you know that got that joke. I thought you were like 30. You ever fuck NBA young boy? No. Oh. You thought Adam was 30? Yeah. Like right now. 30? Yes. You thought he was 30? Know, All these yeah. grays in my beard? I don't know. I don't I'm almost 30. Him. Yeah, you look like you're 25. Here's like the important question. If you didn't know us and you walk into a bar, you I see me in house phone on either side of the bar, who is the one that you would naturally gravitate towards just based on the looks? Probably him. <sighs> Every time. Sorry. Every why? time. Every time. I don't want to tell you why. He just looks like more <laughs> fun? He looks more interesting, just at mm. a first glance. Mm. You like that he's wearing this crazy yeah. Illum Illuminati hoodie? It might just be the outfit he's in right now. Mm. But I dress like this all the time. so. But I've also seen you for like years, so <laughs> you're just kind of ingrained <laughs> in my head. This example, you're not supposed to know who I am. You're just seeing me, no, just my came, body. He came yeah. kind of fresh today. I'm not even going to lie. I think listening he, biceps. Yeah, I got the Gucci, I love the, uh, shirt. the Gucci D3s on. Whoa, those that are crazy, bizarre. actually. I saw, I was like, I gotta get that. Nah, those are fire, actually. Damn. Okay, mm -hmm. my boy, you stepping it up out here. Let's make this about us. <laughs> <laughs> we I like your, talk there. I like your necklace. I, I had a necklace like that, but I lost it. What am I wearing? It's like a... A friendship bracelet. Uh, yeah, it's necklace. like one of those. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't know how those those got popular again, like... like celebrities would get like diamond ones and shit you know, that's kind of hot to me because i would have rocked a necklace like that when i was at like summer camp in sixth grade yeah that's the vibe okay it's never like, mind i have a friend <laughs> i have a never friend. mind now they I made take me it a back. necklace i'm gonna rock this necklace for a couple days maybe a couple weeks month it definitely looks like i made it why you got necklace where'd you get it hawaii hawaii yeah what are you doing out there surfing 
Really? Start, you're, you're really into that? I'm not very good, but I'm into it. That's fire. I wouldn't say I'm good. You have a surfing sponsor? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my homie is like oh, the my homie is like the only black professional surfer. Really? Yeah. What's his name? Is that fact checked? No. Oh, <laughs> not at all. He just I just always say that to people. Because when I think about it, I'm like, this probably. It seems like there would be black dudes who are pro surfers, yeah. even though I don't know anything about surfing. That's what I'm saying. I mean, he, all he had to do was tell me, and I was like, wow, congrats, bro. Right. There were definitely black people surfing in Hawaii. But he's, Might not be he's pro. pro, though. Okay. Like, pro. he has, like, his own board and shit like that. Okay. You, you sure know? they weren't just Hawaiian? Mm. Yeah, I don't think they were Hawaiian. It's hard to say. Yeah. What other, what other hobbies do you uh, dabble You're in? You're a swag surfer. <laughs> How good are you? Not great. Can you? I'm not, like professional how long are you standing up on the board for i can ride a wave oh i can ride a wave i just i'm not great i just, I just tried surfing for the first time really and riding the wave alone is a fucking thing i yeah. feel like standing up is a, is a thing so just standing up yeah. yeah so when you actually see and you're thinking about what it must be like to be a dude who's just fucking whipping up and down on that shit and just going crazy it's like that is insane how the fuck can you do that my thing is I don't fully stand up. It's better if you like stay crouched down and then you can like go faster. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. You can like maneuver through the wave and shit like that. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I'm not athletic at all, so I wouldn't know. Who got you into surfing? <laughs> Let's make this a surfer interview. Fucking yeah, right? COVID. I got mm. bored and I was like, okay, I live very close to Malibu at mm. the time. Don't, so I was just like. Don't, don't dox yourself. Yeah. That's pretty general. Close to Malibu. <laughs> It's like many millions of people I don't live who live there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just like scared. I got a weird DM earlier today, mm. and I'm like, damn, I need to move now. Oh, like they knew where you lived? Maybe. He's getting mm. famous. Yeah, I know. You got to stop giving your address out on the podcast. I'm, on the podcast? I'm pretty sure you've done that before. Why would I have, why would I have done that? you're insane. Yeah, maybe like <laughs> five years ago <laughs> I might have done that. Gotcha. Just being an idiot. So you just go to Hawaii now, and you're just like, I'll just go surfing wherever. I'll, I'll let the the world guide me. I'll go wherever do whatever the, the fuck I want. Wherever the wind blows me, yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wherever the, you blow the wind. So, yeah. like, I'm not I'm not going to put you in this box, but sometimes you see girls, hot yeah. chicks on Instagram, and you see them, and they're in, they're in France, they're in Italy, they're in London, whatever the fuck, and you're just like, I believe that you could pay for this, maybe, from your OnlyFans money, but sometimes you're wondering, like, is there a rich dude who's funding these mm. adventures? For the most part, I think there is. For me, there's not. There's no sugar daddy. Mm. No. You don't need that. Why not? Yeah, I just don't need it. I don't. I just can't be bothered. Mm. Really? I, like I respect that. <laughs> that is kind of the vibe that I get from you is that you are kind of bitchy and you probably wouldn't. <laughs> She's like, kind of bitchy. No, but like I don't. I couldn't see her being fake nice to a rich guy for a while just to get the bag. Yeah, I'm unable to be fake nice. Right. Like it's. I, I can't I, do it. I kind of pick up on that vibe a little bit. What are you guys trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> I just don't see you being able to be the type of chick. Because I always think it's insane. When I see girls who are like on trips with these douchebag 57-year-old guys who got, can't mm. get hard. And they're just Ew. hanging out all day, every day, just being nice to them. Just so they can get purses and money and shit. I, I feel mean, like it's more insane to not do that. But imagine just doing that day yeah. in, day out. Yeah. I You're like only hot and young once. Yeah. Run it up. So why spend all your time hanging out with some fucking old sleaze That's bag on a I boat? See it. Um, That's how I see it. Like I would rather just, I'd rather just be me. myself. Yeah. Because when I interviewed her on Plug Talk Bros, the way she talks about dudes, <laughs> she's just biting them off and really? spitting them out. She's talking about dudes the way that like misogynistic dudes talk about chicks. Okay. I can't well, I want to hear. Said. You're like, I hate when a dude doesn't give me head. If he doesn't last long, I'll just kick him out, leave him oh. on the street. Yeah, do that. I did tell you that story. Take the money out of his pockets. Fuck him. <laughs> wow. I was like, damn. That's fire. If I was like <clears throat> single, I'd be scared to fuck with a girl like her because I'm thinking that she's going to Twitter to be like, he came in three minutes. I do have a burner account just for that. Wow. Really? On Twitter. You think people know that it's you? Some people know that it's me. Like your friends or something? Yeah. Do you like have my, friends? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Two different types of girls. Some girls got a lot of friends. Some girls got yeah. no friends. I have no friends. Honestly, really? I literally fuck them. No Who needs friends? Yeah. Why is that, you think? 
<laughs> I feel like a lot of girls who go who go into porn are the types though who are kind of like lone wolves who don't feel like they need a big social network. I don't know. I feel like most girls in porn like have friends. Hmm. I feel I started out with a lot of friends. They withered mm. along the years. Wow, you think you outgrew them? Yeah, and I just I don't trust anybody, and people are fucking schemy and sketchy. And yeah, weird. people do sketchy weird. shit to you. Yeah, they do weird shit to me. So I just, like what? Mm. Yeah, I was gonna say. I don't know, like using me for shit and like for like what money? Clout. Clout, clout mm. mostly. Oh. Like, hey, let's post on our Instagrams. So That's a collab post. And Who I'm the like, fuck the, says that? The ugliest picture you've ever seen of me, and they're like, let's post this on Instagram. And right. Like, no. And they're like, yeah, tag me. Yeah. And that oh. kind of, That's fucking weird. That drives Call you away. Back. Yeah, I mm. hate the clout chasing. Really. Yeah. Because I mean, that, <laughs> if your friends have to ask you to follow back, then, the clout chasing right. in porn too. Because there's so many random people doing it, and then there's only so many girls who have enough followers and like enough attention on them that they could kind of move the needle. Yeah. yeah. So you see the level of sucking up to the big girls that is so crazy. Yes. Okay. Can I just ask Friends. this? Like, because I didn't do my Googles. Are you like OnlyFans girl? Or are you like real actual porn star? No, she's in there. She's Jenna Jameson. I'm. Uh. Por- I'm. What am I? Performer of the year. Mm. Just go crazy! I what it was called. Go crazy! That's when we when we got her on Plug Talk. That's one thing Lena said. She's like, "This is a big one because she's performer of the year right now. It's gonna have Damn, a lot of that's eyeballs." Fire. On. Yeah. What got you a uh, performer of the year? If you mind me asking. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> do you think you shot? You have more no than idea. A lot of people that year. I didn't fucking do anything. Like I shot a movie that I like wrote and produced. That's fire. That was it. That was it. That's good yeah. though. I mean, I shoot a lot. I haven't heard any girl say that. And shit, but I, I haven't heard any girl say that they wrote and produced any porn. So like, yeah, well, they usually like do that much later in their porn. career. Oh, it was like a porn movie. It was a porn movie. Okay. Yeah, mm. I got a billboard and everything in wow. Hollywood. Really? Yeah, it was sick. That's was crazy. crazy. Yeah. Yeah, porn is weird like that. Where like you get the award, and a lot of times it's like it feels like it's kind of out of your control. It's just like people like you. Yeah. You get the award. Well, I figured out that if you do like the best year of your life, like the best work you've ever done, you win the next year. Mm. So I kind of see like how I could have won the year before, but they just do it the next year is like Mm. the trend. But Mm. I don't know. Can we go back to the time period when you decided that you wanted to get into porn? Yeah. What, what, What was your life like prior to this? I was in college and I was working two jobs. I was studying forensic psychology. Mm hmm. And that's one where you have to like, the fuck? <laughs> we both said, mm, so mm. we gave each other both, a fist bump. Mm. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Bro shit. But yeah. I, I realized that it would take me like fucking 10 years to even do anything with that job. And I was just tired and I'm like fucking working two jobs. Shit's fucking, I'm just exhausted. And fuck it, I'm on Tinder looking for dick one day. And see, this is too- that's how it starts. She talks about us like we're pieces of meat. Oh my God. I like it though. What school yeah. um, were you going to? Auburn. Okay. In Alabama. Yeah. Why? What do you mean, why? Why'd you go to fucking all the way over there? Because I lived in Alabama. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Mm. I thought you were from here or something. No. You give me LA vibes. I know. Like Beverly <laughs> Hill, like Shaws of Sunset vibes. We yeah. were just with No Cap. From what Al- the fuck? From Alabama. Fuck you. What? There's no cap. That's like my favorite rapper. You don't read the group chat. We were talking all about it. I don't read I it. I was sometimes. trying to convince T-Rell how great he is. Yeah, because T. Rail fucking is yeah, old, eighty-seven and years old. Currency is from there. True, from Alabama. Yeah. Wait, no, I thought he was from, from Louisiana. Yeah. Oh, maybe I. I don't know. My <laughs> friends from Alabama were. Gucci like, Mane is from there. Them. Gucci Mane is from okay, Alabama, yeah. but, but even yeah. though you think of him as an Atlanta guy, he's yeah. missed his own six though. Mm. So you were going to school in school. A- Auburn. You were on Tinder one day looking, looking for, for dick. dick, objectifying a bunch of men. And then what? Someone just like looking recru- for little house phones on there. Someone just recruited you, like yeah. f- on Tinder. Yeah, from Miami, and he was like, "Have of you course. ever thought about doing porn?" And I'm like, "No." And he was like, "You should come to Miami and do a scene and see if you like it." And I was just like, "All right, I'm fucking bored." You're like, sure. <laughs> I You're like, did not it. think anything was going to come out of this. I was just like, "All right, whatever." You didn't think you would be performer of the year? No, I was just like in it because i was fucking bored and i'm like okay but you weren't worried about the societal implications that the world was going to be looking at you like a prostitute no because i was like already 
very slut shamed in high school. Really? Mm. When I really was like less of a slut than everyone else, I just didn't hide it. Mm. I just don't, it was like too much energy. So you always had so, that, that, that hoe energy? Yeah. You just wanted <laughs> to get it in? Yeah. <laughs> what was it? What was driving you? Was you? Do you want the acceptance from guys or did you just want to feel good? I just wanted to dick. feel good and like my parents are very conservative Catholic people right. so it was kind of like a rebellious thing too I loved mm -hmm. it I, I got sent away for having sex in high school right. really sent my ass away where was sent away to fucking Illinois why Illinois <laughs> I feel like that's better than being in Alabama there's no one to have no. sex with out there <laughs> it was actually worse than Alabama that was like the worst place I ever lived there's nothing there well, like you went to like Chicago or like no not even some random ass like fucking home of Abe Lincoln oh fuck Springfield oh Illinois. Jesus Christ wow. yeah so well what Abe like Simpson what there was like an anti-sex fucking camp or something there they sent you to no my dad was working there and they're like okay go live with your dad for a little while so you can't have sex and i'm like i could still have sex just, in illinois <laughs> yeah you just fuck random illinois guys yeah you, got, you got right back on tinder yeah this did you really before yeah. tinder or this was like years of tinder i was in high school yeah. <laughs> so you were a tinder soldier since a young age yeah i'm banned now really why because yeah. people impersonate you or what yeah people think i'm not me i hear so many people say that yeah that you can't just be her on tinder because there's other people using your photos you end up getting flagged as a fake account yeah and people wow. use all kinds of crazy names and shit so so when you got into porn what do you think your body count was it's a good question i think anyone who keeps track of that is a fucking weirdo really has worms for brains <laughs> <laughs> see she mean <laughs> I think we, I think me and him talked about this enough that we both like stopped counting at like a certain number. I stopped counting yeah. around like two eighty. That's okay. That's a, that's pretty high. I think my body count is way lower than you guys think it is because it you fuck is. the same forty guys yeah. in porn, right? Yeah, mm. less than that, like the same fucking twenty people. Really? Like I would say my body count was higher before porn than now. Really? Yeah. It's gone down. Yeah, it's gone down. I knocked That's not a few possible. Off. Wow, it's gone down. <laughs> I knocked a few off. Is it hard not to fall in love with the porn guys when you're just fucking them over and over? She doesn't seem like she wants to fall in love at all. It's actually amazing because I feel nothing for them and I know they feel nothing for me, so it's fucking awesome. You don't think they ever fall in love with you? Not really. You haven't had one guy you wouldn't like, oh, like, like maybe I would go get a coffee with this guy. Not really. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> maybe I'll wake, maybe I'll go get a scone and a coffee. You don't respect them? <laughs> I respect them for sure. Okay. I just you respect the dick. Yeah. Well, respect the work. Yeah. It's necessary. I more respect the work they're doing. Right. But do you think that that's the type of guy that you would see yourself being able to date? Absolutely not. No. Why not? I don't know. I think anybody who's in porn is weird. Yeah. And like Adam. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I don't but the not say you're in porn. Yeah, barely. How? The, the male porn he stars sure that I porn. know. It's crazy because they're like hustlers. Like they're like drug dealers. They're just like dipping around, bouncing yeah. around town, shooting content <laughs> with all these different girls, just yes. getting money all over the place. They and all this. have a weed business. They all have a fucking <laughs> cannabis company. Now who's yeah. really buying weed from the porn guy? Yeah, yeah but even that's, just, that's true for the rappers too. So yeah. many not rappers have true. weed brands that it's like, why would that's anyone not true. do this? That's now, I agree true. with you. The, the porn star selling weed is even harder to that's believe. That's terrible. But, but yeah. the, weed, the rappers, people will buy weed from mm. for sure. I would buy some weed from you if you had like a like your vagina as the bag or something. Yeah. Okay. Or your boobs as the bag. Yeah. That would be fire. You should do that. I don't smoke weed. My yeah. friend my friend designed that bag right there with the ass. Coochie runs. Oh. And that's like my that's other homegirl's cool. ass. That's cool. It's fire, right? You should just steal the idea and like do it yourself. I don't want to be in cannabis. You're anti-weed? <laughs> I'm not anti-weed. I just don't smoke it myself. You anymore. used to? I used to. What happened? I moved to California and all of a sudden everybody smokes weed. Yeah, and it's like a different fucking strain or something here. It's too strong. Yeah. Same. I started giving like panic attacks and like anxiety Same. and shit. So Same I'm not fucking with it. Blunt after blunt after blunt, like in college, and then all of a sudden I moved here and it was immediate Too powerful. Yeah. You were smoking that mid yeah. in college. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially Swag in fucking weed. Alabama. Yeah. You can't and get Illinois. Weed there. Oh, they're smoking dirt. Speaking of smoking, I fucking lost my vape and I'm losing my mind. I'm like, where the fuck is it? Aww. Did you steal mine? No. This is the same one that I have. Are you tested? I've had that one for like three days. I don't know how. So you just blow vapes now? 
You blow flat, fat clouds? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> Did you shoot any scenes today? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm just making okay, sure. slut shamer. Wow. That was look at, toxic. Let's examine your behavior. My Where's your mouth been? <laughs> I ate some pussy today. Are you today. tested? Yes. You are tested? Yeah. And how many days? Like last week. Yeah. Why would you get tested? Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> to make sure my dick is clean. You don't do porn. No, you, that's you think smart. that's smart. Civilians Respect. don't get tested that much from my experience. Are you joking? I, why would you get tested? To make sure my dick is clean, Adam. How often are you getting tested? I, I mean, like, her. every so often. Before I got in the game, I was doing it, what, maybe like once a year? That's kind of that's kind of wild, Adam. Really? I would say at least like a uh, like couple times a year. Yeah, I like, would do it like every couple months. Yeah, like one, like Before once every one. like three months. I mean, you fuck one nasty bitch and it's like, oh, let's get oh, tested. Yeah. It's yeah. More that's, of like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's that's more why like I got. If I feel weird. Okay, you, I, you know when I got tested after the live show. Who'd you fuck after the live show? I fucked this girl before the live show. Wow. That's why I was like, like ten minutes late. Really? Yeah. You wake up in the morning, you could still the the smell of her pussy is still oh. ringing in the back of your head. You're like, let me go get tested. Ew. Even though it's probably not going to show up the day after you fuck her. Uh, Adam. It does? It was just a girl that I was just like, I should have not done it. But I, I felt like it was going to relax me before the show. Is getting burnt just part of the game when you're in porn? Yeah. Yeah? It's kind of like a reward because then you like don't have to work for like a week. What the <laughs> fuck? And it's not like I'm getting like the... I'm getting the fun STDs. Like, I'm not getting what the, the ones. What the fuck is a fun STD? What are you talking the about? The ones that go away. People Yo. think that <laughs> STDs are a lot worse than they are. But when you've actually had chlamydia like 10 times and you realize yeah. that it's just you go in, boom, shot in your ass. I don't want anything in my yeah. ass. You don't work for like, th or you don't have sex for like three days and then you're good. I never had chlamydia, gonorrhea, none of that shit. It's fun. That's insane. Why, is, why do you keep saying that? How is that even possible? No, like for me, it mean? actually is like a reward because I don't have to work for a minute. That is a good way of looking at it. For me, like the most recent time that I did it, I had to cancel like fucking three Plug Talk episodes for the next week. And it oh, was yeah, such a nice. huge fucking bummer because it fucked up our whole schedule. But yeah, you do get some time off. So that's kind of nice. Yeah. Fun STDs. Do you like not fuck like off camera now because you like fuck for work? No, she does. She's on Tinder. Well, not anymore. Uh, not anymore. Oh, I was about to say, yeah, you're banned now. <laughs> I fuck off camera, but I do like... I go in little phases. I call them two week relationships where I just like fuck a guy mm. for two weeks and then I'm bored and then I'm just like Because of the guy or just because this like the situation? Just the situation. You're just like, oh, I'm over this nigga. Yeah, because usually like two weeks they like kinda start wanting to date and I'm just Oh, out. so you're just you're missing and, you, and that's is that ever on the table? Are you ever like thinking, hmm, maybe I could date this guy? Yeah, I've considered it, but then I'm like, mm, do I really Want to. When was the last time you had a boyfriend? 2020. Okay, two years Pandemic ago. Boyfriend? Pandemic boyfriend? Pandemic boyfriend. A lot of porn stars got those. Yeah. Yeah. A lot we, of porn stars spent like six months in a relationship. Yeah. You we ran got quarantined together. Mm. Together. Yeah. This dude lived in New York and he like couldn't go back to New York at the time. Like you couldn't go back. <laughs> Damn. So he was just like stuck with me. I'll wife you up. Yeah, basically. Wow. That's kind of fire. Just, yeah. It was fun while it lasted. I mean, at least you let him stay with you? Yeah. At least you let him stay with you. What if you just didn't have anywhere to stay? Yeah. It was more of like, okay, well, I'm quarantined and like, I need dick. Mm. I need somebody to hang out with. This is like a classic porn interview question that I feel like a lot of guys always want to know the answer to is, is it hard to date a guy with a regular sized dick or even a small dick after you've been banged by porn stars with gigantic 13 inch dicks? I think fucking guys with huge dicks is not it. very not comfortable right it's not like pleasurable the guys with the top tier huge dicks are kind of like cursed in yeah a way. and it's kind of more of like a look what i can do <laughs> <laughs> look at this it's little party not, trick i got going yeah. on here yeah it's more of like for the scene i just want it to look good yeah but it's definitely not practical so the 13 inch dick guys are not going to be your boyfriend you couldn't handle it no long term no i actually kind of feel bad for those guys because i'm like who are you fucking? oh you feel bad for this work? guy with this huge dick oh man life is so hard oh, i'm <laughs> rich <laughs> fuck hot girls my all day porn contract oh, so bad so oh my yeah, god like, you kind of have to do porn if you have a dick that big <laughs> no you could go be a lawyer and just not <laughs> take your pants off yeah, and just have your dick just yeah, but who's gonna fuck you like only porn stars are gonna fuck you like, 
If so, if That's I was true. a real girl, if I was like a normal person, if I was a real girl, no. But I was watching an interview with Dread, and he was saying that before he became a porn star, he was just like a sex party guy, and he was doing weird, really? couple shit where he would like get flown out and just be like hooking up with some couple together. Like he was already doing some sexual shit, which I guess you would be kind of led in that direction if you did have one of the biggest penises in the world. Yeah, in the world. But if I was hooking up with Dread and he pulled that out, I would leave. Like that's something you have to like. Know what be you're prepared for. Into. You got to be prepared for that. Yeah. I've had friends over the years who had dicks that were realistically way smaller than his that told me that like. How do you know that? Every because we were just talking about it cause he we're, loved, we're he, gay and white. He but, wants to fucking see all his no, friends. Dicks. I had friends who realistically their dick probably more like ten inches, and they would talk about how every girl that they fucking tried to bang because this is when we were young, like eighteen, nineteen, and it's like. A lot of girls are just not going to be able to handle that. It's like, you know, he's he described it like he was doing fucking surgery every time he would <laughs> fuck a new girl. You got to just ease your way into it, right? Yeah. Yeah. When you're young, you don't know how to ease your way in. You can't just like, right. you, you can't just to, like, dive know into how it. To use it. Yeah, you can't. With great power comes great responsibility. Who said that? It's just, <laughs> have you, but okay, why are you, she's so demanding about oral sex. I fuck with that. She said, "If a guy uh, doesn't do it, she'll beat the dog shit out of him." No, it's not. I don't even up? like. I don't even like getting my pussy eaten. To be honest, I don't like it. It was just kind of like a power moment mm. when this guy was like, "I was like, eat my pussy," and he like wouldn't do it. So I just got up and put on my clothes and I left. Fire. And what would he do? Text you. Have to contact yeah, me. <laughs> beg you to come back. Did you go back? No, I never saw that man again. That's fire. Yeah. I hope he sees this. You really yeah. don't like the feeling of getting it eaten. No. Really? It's like too too many nerves. Really? It's like too mm. sensitive. So you uh. don't like the feeling of it, but you force guys to do it because it makes you feel like you're demeaning them. No, not demeaning. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm taking from this. Not demeaning, more of like, it was kind of a thing to see like, is he gonna do what I tell him to do? Mm. And he didn't. So you so. want a yes man, basically. Basically. Really? But only in sex, not like in real life. How do you differentiate the two? I like to Where be... does it stop and where does it start? She likes to be the rapper. She likes for the dude the rapper? to be chasing her and she likes to be very aloof and like, you know, oh, maybe I won't call you back for a few days. Maybe I won't answer your text for 10 hours, etc. She likes to be like sort of dangling a guy along by a string and you I don't know, like that, to be that's dangled. like her whole vibe. I don't like to be dangled. I've had girls like her in my life before. <laughs> like to be they play hard to get. They force you to act like you really want to fuck them. You know, you have to actually try. I and then that. you fuck them a couple of times. And then all of a sudden the power shifts. And then yes. all of a sudden it's like, no, now I'm not texting you back. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha Yeah. I like to play the little games for sure. Fuck mm. all that. We too, <laughs> we too grown to be playing games. Yeah. Also. Yeah. But she likes the games. The games are the point. She's yeah. not even really trying to get her pussy eaten. She just likes playing games with them. Yeah. That's fucked fun. up. Torture. Yeah. <laughs> you're a psycho. If you were a dude, you'd be a sick fuck. We would talk yeah. about you, you like you still are a, a sick fuck. Yeah. If I was a guy, <laughs> I wouldn't get away with this. <laughs> yeah. Nah, but a lot of guys are like that. They just, nowadays, it's kind of like, you know, if you were a dude sitting on a podcast in this day and age and being like, yeah, my favorite thing is I like to go to the bar, meet a bitch. Have a few drinks, take her home, fuck her, never call her again. <laughs> yeah. People would look at you like you're crazy, but you know mad dudes are living like that. And yeah. both I was living get, like that for a long time too. Yeah. yeah. You would get canceled on Twitter immediately. That's weird. I hate when like <laughs> things that are real end up being cancelable offenses, you know? Yeah, like not texting a girl back or something. They're ghosting. Like, but is ghosting really like looked down upon this day and age, you think? Hell yeah. Yeah. I feel like there's like Twitter threads about people because they fucking yeah. fucked a girl and didn't text her back. But okay, if you fuck a dude and you don't want to talk to him again, do you like answer his text but just sort of like f tell him to fuck off and like, you know, sort of like let him know now I'm not interested anymore or do you just ghost? The last situation, I just sent him a text and I just said, I don't like your vibe. Mm. <laughs> and he was very understanding. He, he didn't pass like, the vibe check. My vibe does suck. It was suck. almost like he knew that his vibe <laughs> Got a shitty vibe. Yeah. What about his vibe was threw you off? He was a little too nice. Too nice? Yes. So it's true, like you, like y'all really like assholes and shit like that. No, I don't like assholes. How nice are we talking? It's somewhere in the middle. 
Give it me an example. What did he do? Like, like we were trying to find somewhere to eat, and he was like, "Whatever you want." And mm. like, well, what do you feel like? And I'm like, just fucking drive somewhere. Like, it shouldn't be this difficult. And he's yeah, like, but then y'all bitches go? be hella picky. So then, like, if I pick somewhere, then and then you're like, oh my god, they don't have Brussels sprouts here. No, I'm then not. Then I'm like gonna that. be like, what the fuck? You could fucking drive me through McDonald's, and I'd be like, okay. oh, say less. Yeah, now. right. You would not yeah, let a guy you, take you to yeah. McDonald's. I would. I Maybe would. once you were seeing him, but on a first date, you can't do that. That's like basically like devaluing yourself, right? No, I'd be like, that's actually, yeah, oh, amazing. Oh, you're, you're so avant-garde. What a crazy idea you came up with there. I would think it was so hilarious that I like I wouldn't be mad. That's interesting. Hmm. Like, it would actually be entertaining to me. Hey, listen. She's an easy one, guys. I ate a lot of McDonald's in my day, Take but her I'm to not McDonald's. really doing that anymore. Yeah. I don't want to eat McDonald's. That's why I wouldn't take a girl. To yeah, McDonald's. same. I don't want to eat. You McDonald's still eat a lot of McDonald's? No, Hot I pockets? actually don't eat McDonald's. No? but I was just using that as an example. Okay. You would you you would take some nuggets, right? No. No. Baked chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mad at McDonald's if I have to. If I'm on a road trip or we're on the side of the highway, you know, yeah, if I'm, I'm starving. Yeah, if I have to do it for if sure. You're starving. But I, I would pick most fast food over McDonald's. Like what? What else is fast? Chick Fil A. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Chipotle. Definitely. Five Guys. Anything. There's so yeah. many options these days. I'll take Wendy's. Yeah. yeah. Bur- Burger King or McDonald's though. Oh uh, no. Burger. I, honestly, I'll fuck with Burger King before McDonald's. I don't think I would do Wendy's. It's kind of in the same category. I think that I'm disgusted by Burger King because one time they came out with the uh, like Cheeto. That sounds disgusting. Cheeto already. like mac and cheese encrusted Cheeto fuck bites no. or something. That's disgusting. They were like Cheeto collab, Burger you King and, and Cheetos. Why did you eat this? Because they came out with it and it was viral. <laughs> and I was like, fuck it, I'm going to Burger King. I'm going to get this shit. This is back in the day. I can't imagine doing this now. I got it. I ate it. It honestly wasn't bad, but I was so grossed out by the whole thing. I don't know if I got Burger King since. Disgusting. That's fucked up. Yeah, it I, sounds, was, sounds, I was living my truth. It sounds like you had a great experience. Well, if it made me eat less Burger King, I think it was probably for the best. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What was the last time? Was sorry. When was the last time you had Burger King? I don't know. It's been a while. Since so that that was the last time you had it. I mean, I would probably be lying if I said that because I'm <laughs> sure I've had it. It's not the most memorable thing in the world. Mm, it's disgusting. I just ate Burger King. Now I think of it. Exactly. Like, mm. At fucking JFK Airport because there's nothing else to eat. Yeah. And there's a fucking piece of paper in my sandwich. <laughs> what a, <laughs> paper. What the fuck? What are you sure you didn't just like unpeel it poorly? No, it was like a fucking piece of paper inside the sandwich, like, like baked into the fucking sandwich. What, like, like not the paper that they wrap it with, like just no. another sheet of paper, just like white lined yes, paper. Yes. Like you're just like chewing and it was a little too chewy. Well, luckily I saw it before I ate it, but and like the what did you do? You like fighting. lift up the bun first? Yeah, I always like inspect. What? <laughs> That's smart. You though. give me that vibe no, but for I think sure. Of it, yeah, I did inspect before I ate it, but no, uh. like the people were fighting. A fucking JFK airport in the back of fucking Burger King. Why? They're like fist fighting in the back. And I'm like, this is the only place to eat. Well, that's probably uh, that's probably how the paper got yeah. in. <laughs> yeah, like, Niggas was squaring up. All sorts of commotion. Before, yeah. I should have known, but wow. there's nothing. I had like 10 minutes till my flight. I'm like, fuck it. Have you ever uh, fucked a fast food employee? <laughs> McDonald's fry chef or yeah. something? Not that I know of. Is Not that, that a fantasy? Know. No. What Would kind you? of guys do you go for? I've been told that my type is gangster white boy. I don't like that. But you said you'd pick but him I'm, over me. I'm you're like not the gangster. Definition, I'm like Fez, bro. I'm like the gangsterous white boy. You are kind of gangster white boy, actually. But yeah. Come on. I have yet to like prove this, though. Like I don't think that's my type, but that's what people tell me. They put that on you. Yeah. I don't like that. Why white boys? You racist? No. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you bringing home to the parents? I don't bring anybody home to my parents. I don't even bring myself home to my parents. <laughs> <laughs> They're over you? <laughs> my mom likes me. My dad's a little. <laughs> it's a porn thing? Yeah, I think it's a porn thing. But he didn't even like me before porn, so I'm like. Why not? He's very Catholic and conservative, mm. very like, this is how you do things. He's a Gianna. I've never been like this. Like, I've never. But also, like, all my siblings do the thing where they follow the rules and they're like. Mm. You're the black sheep. And you're like, no, I'm not just going to go do porn, but I'm going to become performer of the year. I'm going to become internationally known. Millions of men will beat their mates to me on a daily basis. All your (laughs) friends will know about what your daughter is doing because she's world famous. You can't go to Pornhub without seeing her on the Mm. sidebar. That's a different level. 
Yeah. You think your dad's friends are beating off to you? Yes. <laughs> I didn't want to think about that. And he's hearing about it? I didn't want to think about that. I did tell him very early on in the game what I was doing because I was scared of that. I was worried that his friends would like. Say you gotta something. just you gotta wait it out as long as you can until until he figures it out. No, I don't want him to hear from somebody else. We've had girls come here on this podcast and just be like, "Yeah, my parents don't know," and I'm like, well, "They're gonna know that, now." That is not gonna be the case for very long. Yeah. You realize we have four million subscribers. Somebody's gonna rat you out. Yeah, yeah dude. And yeah, now no. we're on Facebook. I feel like that's what's exposing oh, a lot of man. people because we got a million followers on Facebook. Your parents are on Facebook. Oh, One thousand yeah. percent. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And if you have any type of regular job or some shit like that, you might as well kiss that goodbye. Yeah. But I you don't just like how people do that. You let your dad know. It's just like the dudes that you kick it with, like, hey, if you don't like it, get the fuck out and don't talk to me. Basically, yeah. Yeah, dad. But fuck. he's like he's my dad and he still loves me and like we just don't talk about it. Mm. He like, just, I still go home for He Christmas. just acts like it just, just doesn't exist. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess don't I talk would talk about pro- it with my parents. I would probably do the same thing. You're yeah. d- you don't talk about that. No, with, they with know Ann. what's up, but they just don't bring it up because they're hella polite. What's your dad's name yeah. again? Phil. Yeah, Phil. <laughs> you don't talk. You don't talk to Phil and Ann about yeah. your fucking porn escapades. If right. Phil asked me about it, I'd be like, Dad, shut the fuck <laughs> up. What are you doing? Now, my mom. I tell my mom everything. My mom like keeps up with my career. Mm. That's that's a little weird, but like kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. I have weird. a very. I have a good question. This is something I've been wondering. So. Now that I'm sometimes doing uh, directing scenes, I guess you could say, where we have the girl fucking a male porn star and I'm not fucking, I'm just directing it. I'm bringing these people together and stuff. And it's like sometimes the dude gets on, on, on set and he's all over the girl. Like as soon as he sees her, he's grabbing her ass. He's making out with her. He's like fully like because that helps them get into the zone to then be able to smash on camera for an hour. And then sometimes it's just totally like business. The guy's just like, hey, how you doing? Man? Hello. Uh, yeah. And it's kind of weird, though, because even a girl like because some girls are in relationships. So it's like they're kind of just supposed to be getting fucked on camera. Right. But like yeah. when they're on set, sometimes it's like the dude wants to be like this. Uh, what is your perspective on that? I'm very like, cold and professional, I think. Like mm. it's literally like handshake. For a scene. So if he comes in and grabs the back of your head, and tries to kiss you, you're just like, no. If he like really needs it, I'll be like, fucking roll the camera, mm. shoot whatever is happening, because I'm not doing this for free. Mm. Like, the camera better be rolling. So yeah. if you have to suck him off to get him hard, you want it filmed because otherwise it feels like this is just a waste of your time. Yeah, but usually guys are already hard like coming into the scene because you know. So how many times do you deal? How often do you deal with guys who fuck it up and can't? Keep Every once in a while, and I have a 15-minute rule. If you can't get, <laughs> <laughs> she's calling her own shots. I'm Yo. pretty sure you don't get to put a clock on the guy. No, I call the timer. The amount of times I've texted my agent and been like, "He has 15 minutes. Start the timer," and I'm out in 15 minutes because I'm like, "Dude, come on! If you can't, like, this is literally your job. Right? Mm. Like, if you can't come and like do your job, yeah." I don't have all day to waste. Like I'm here, I'm being paid for my scene. I'm not being paid for anything. I'm not being paid to wait for you. Uh-huh. Like it's literally your job. I shouldn't have to. But that doesn't you. happen yeah, very you often. You, you can't. You can't not warm really. a nigga up real quick. Like yeah. it also depends on the person. Like if this is someone I've never worked with before, I'm like, no, fuck you. You should have done mm. your job. But, but this but is the thing about it is that the girls, even if they don't want to be flirty or make out with the guy, a lot of times they'll just do it because they want the guy to be easy to work with yeah so they're like whatever if he needs to make out with me i'll just i'll just roll with the punches and just do that just to make sure that this comes out all right yeah it's a weird weird business man i work with like mostly guys who have been in for a long time Mm. so they know like fucking manuel ferrara does not need me to fucking get his dick hard like he's good right so i don't know are all these guys making out with you what do you mean making out with me the male porn stars do you think it's like normal for them to kiss you or is that kind of extra I don't really think about that. People have asked me that before. I don't I don't really notice if I kiss them. I don't know. Right. I just be doing the scene. Just be doing the thing. Yeah. But you know, I did something with her that I haven't really done with almost any of the other girls we made out with. with. Uh, I don't know if we made out. But like uh, when we started the scene, I started it out going down on her because she had demanded what? it in the interview. She had said yeah. if a guy wow. doesn't do that, she's not fucking with the dude. So I started I've the never scene heard off. you even say that before. 
Yeah, but you didn't have to. Thanks for that, but you didn't I thought have you were on thanks. some... <laughs> she said thanks. Send me a thank you card. I, I thought you were on some DJ Khaled shit. I thought you weren't even eating any type of pussy at all. No, I'm down. Okay. I'll slide. <laughs> I'll I literally, slide on an app. I thought you were on some DJ Khaled shit. No, oh, I'll get in there. But I don't really do it for porn. I don't feel like people are trying to see that. Yeah, it's kind of like a boring part of the scene. This shit's old school. Yeah. What are we, mm. lesbians? Yeah. But like... <laughs> But people watch blowjob scenes, though. Yeah, but that's... That's so different. That's though, what yeah. they want to see, right? I don't know. Whenever I see the scene and I, I'm, I'm flicking through, trying to get to the good shit, and I see the guy with his face buried in her house, I'm like, no. Yeah, you can't even see anything. I, I don't need to see this. This is not... Yeah. It's just boring. Right. Do you mm. love the art of porn, or are you just trying to make money? No, I love the art. Really? It's like how I express myself. I love it. <laughs> Explain. <laughs> totally A lot of people sarcastic. might laugh at that. Um, like this asshole. She's being sarcastic Shoebox, as fuck, baby. No, I'm for real. I like to pretend like I'm someone else because, like, when I get on set, I'm Gianna Dior. As soon as I get in my car to go home, I'm not Gianna Dior anymore. So who it's are fun you, for me. Who are you on the way home? Well, my real name's already on the internet, but I'm Emily. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just a normal ass person outside of porn. Like, I have my own life, and porn is not my life. So it's like. You put it kind of infuses in each other. It's right? like Clark Kent yeah. going into the phone booth oh, and coming yeah. out as Superman. Yes. Yes. No. Yeah. Superhead, but I like go way out of my way to like make a fine line between porn and my real life. Like I keep it very separate. So you don't have like pictures of yourself in hair and makeup all over your walls and stuff. No, people do that. <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes you, you have like a hot girl and she like has a house and she'll just put oh, up yeah. pictures of her on magazine cover. I, I, no. I, and you know, I thought about that like because we were on that penthouse cover. I thought like, should we frame this? And yeah, I was just like, eh. oh yeah. I mean, it's cool. I guess my, we could frame it, but it feels weird. Out. It feels weird to celebrate yourself like that, you know? Yeah, like it's a little narcissistic. Yeah. My friend that's like a model and shit, she has her whole background of her room is pictures of herself and shit. That's actually amazing. She's very hot though. See, so I feel shout weird. out to anyone who has that much self confidence and yeah. likes the way that they look that much. Yeah, no. Because yeah. all her merch is like her, like stickers is her. Everything is her. I love it. I wish I was that self confident. Same. Couldn't be me. Yes, you could. Mm, couldn't be me. You have sex on the internet. You could. You could do that. Have it. Yeah. Do people come up to you a lot in public? No. Really? Good. Yeah, I rarely get recognized. Really? Yeah. Has it been weird when you have been recognized? Not really. The most I've ever gotten recognized was at fucking Complex Con. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Same. Same. Honestly. Yeah. yeah. This yeah, I know a lot of people that, that yeah. would agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. AD felt like that yeah, was the vibe bro. as well. Yeah. And I'm like, no makeup, hair in a ponytail, wearing a t shirt. Were like, you at this, the one, the last one? Yeah. Oh, damn. Adam didn't introduce us to your, I don't think I saw you your porn star friend. Also, don't know if I knew her yet at that point. Oh. You were there? Yeah. Yeah, we were in mm -hmm. that bitch. I went for like two hours. I was just outside, was like fucking bit. playing basketball all day. I didn't really go inside. Really? Yeah. You good at basketball or something? <laughs> do you think because it's like a new world we live in where you could be a porn star but then you like do regular shit you go on people's podcasts you go on fucking sneaker shopping you do all these different things you know you get on these youtube channels to like promote yourself do you feel like that's like worth the time rather than just shooting more porn yeah it's fun for me to like do something else and be like an actual person and not just objectified on camera yeah <laughs> what <laughs> So harsh. I mean, it's got to feel kind of good that people like get to know you better and yeah. your actual personality, right? Yeah. Like just doing porn was fun for a while, but it kind of just got boring. And I'm like, people need to see who I am outside of porn because it gets so fucking boring. Mm. And like a lot of porn girls like don't have personality. Yeah, that's a fact. They're like very monotone and like you ask them about anything and it's like, what the fuck They're are you like, saying? Uh... Yeah. I think mm. most of the girls who end up getting really big are usually the girls who can show their personality and people end up yes. liking them. It's, when you have that combination of good personality and really hot, that's when you end up with the girls who end up being really fucking yeah. huge. Yeah. My fans, I think, don't even care about my porn anymore. They just like my personality. Really? Like, think they so. don't even care when I like post uh, let's pussy. Not, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's be realistic, all right? But the most requests I get on like my OnlyFans and shit is like, I want to see day in the life. Like, I want to see what you're doing. I'm like, I'm not fucking doing shit. Like a vlog? Like, they yeah. want you to vlog and shit? I'm not doing that shit. Like, I'm, Why not? 
I just don't think about it. Like, I'm just doing whatever throughout the day. I'm not you could be like, hey, it. vlog, I'm getting my nails done. Then I'm going to get my pussy ate. I mean, yeah. Well, that I don't tell even it, want. I don't even want to get it ate. The average day in the life of a porn star. You wake up in the morning. You eat breakfast. I eat my unless you're doing anal. toast. Yeah. And then you go, you go to some random house in the valley. I usually Always. work out first. And then I, out. I wake up pretty early. And then, but I don't like go. You to get a someone. workout in before a scene? Usually, yeah. Just I'm to, assuming so you, you feel good I'm about tired. yourself? Yeah, I'm mm. tired when I show up to set. So mm. I'm, just, I'm assuming you like shower in between. Yes. Duh. Uh, I'm, well, I'm not assuming. I don't I mean, know. They do man. hair and makeup and shit too, right? Yeah, true. Yeah. But okay, so you show you you, you usually will end up on set by like what time? Nine, ten. Okay, and then you do, do photos. My whole scene. Yeah, fo- hair and makeup takes fucking forever. I hate that. Right. Photos, storyline, scene itself is like thirty minutes. Mm. And shower before I leave. Always. Collect my check. Yeah. You can't go back to the house and sit there with the cum energy on. No, no. <laughs> There's, there's, come, come, there's come energy, traffic. right? Yeah, right. there's come energy. Usually after with girls, though, whenever I work with girls, I like can't get rid of the fucking pussy smell on me. Mm. So then I just smell like pussy all day. Just pussy I vibes. I like it, though. I like it. But because if you're a girl, like as a guy, if you end up doing that, you go in the bathroom, you put fucking soap on your face from the hand soap, and you just... Uh, wash you, your you face wash your face with hand soap. <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> fucking. Well, if I'm trying to get rid of a gross smell that has somehow arrived on my face, yeah. But then. They can't do that because they got a full face of makeup. Actually, but it's the end of the day, so you don't yeah, really I care, right? Yeah, just wipe it off. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you probably got some makeup wipes on on deck, right? Yeah. You I encounter got a kit in my car. you encounter a lot of stank ass vaginas in the porn biz. <laughs> I feel like on Plug Talk we only have a name couple. drop, I name drop, that. name Definitely drop. Definitely don't name, name drop. No, don't That's name like drop. That's like they got a code. I'm usually pretty open to it though, because like if it's somebody who works a lot, I kind of expect it because I'm like. Really? It's what? just kind of part of it. Like, all these dudes fucking you, like, you get, you just smell You're like, weird. pH balance is off. Smell yeah, weird. yeah. It's kind of, like, hard to control, so I kind of just know. Like, it's happened to me before where I'm just, like, I've worked fucking five days in a row. Mm-hmm. I'm going to uh. smell weird. Like, it's just not going to be good, but... Girls are pretty okay with it. Like, I don't care. I was interviewing a male performer the other day, and he said that the grossest thing he's ever encountered when doing it is that it smelled so bad that he couldn't do it, and then it was revealed that she had a boyfriend, and he had finished inside of her. Okay, now that's... Right before that's the okay. scene. That's out of pocket. That's so not that, okay. that's not cool. That's you have to be cool. douche. You have to remove anything that might have been inserted into you. Right. Like, there's a, there's a line where it's like, you smell too bad. <laughs> that's crazy. Right. It's never happened to me, but like... I've been around it. Just like cum soup, just brute s- stirring Ew. up. Ew, yeah. The best kind. <laughs> best soup. That's disgusting. Like a bread bowl. Good soup. <laughs> it's a bread like bowl. a bread bowl. <laughs> Clam <Ew>. chowder. Ew. <laughs> That's, That's the best soup. <laughs> What's your favorite soup? <laughs> I don't talk about this. <laughs> it's such a bad combo after you just painted that picture. <laughs> uh, what's the plan after, afterwards? Yeah, when are you going to get out the biz? Would you ask a doctor that? Yeah. Yeah. No, but that's an easy job to keep for the rest of your life. Yeah. God. No, my plan right now, I'm taking acting classes. I'm like, mm. I can see you doing that. Shit. I can I'm see you, good. I can see you killing that, to be honest. I'm pretty good. I'm able to, like, I'm comfortable in front of the camera. I'm able to, like, be any character. It's fun for me. That's but. fire. Are you, uh, yeah, because I feel like that's the new wave. All the porn star girls saw Chloe Cherry on Euphoria, and they're like, I'm next. I was supposed to Which be Which one her. is that? You tried out for it? I, I was that role, and then they found Chloe. But she did so good, wow. and she deserves it, and, like, wow. she did amazing. But that was supposed to be my role. Damn. I feel like so you got beef for her now. No, no, I love her. I actually think she did a better job than I would have done. Would you beat her up if you saw her in person? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck. But you, okay, you know what happened with her that mm. I've never had this happen. Which before, one is? I don't which one are we talking the about? The one she has the blonde one? big hey. fake lips. The she's blonde face, one? She's blonde. She's she's yeah. the one. Have you seen the whole thing? Yeah. No. Hey. No. But I know. I know. She is. She. Me and Lana worked with her way back in the day. Really. Didn't really think anything of it. And then all of a sudden she's fucking huge on the yeah. shit, which is weird. It's like you're investing in Bitcoin because now that yeah. OnlyFans scene is probably, I mean, I don't know if my girl's selling it like crazy, but it's out there. She yeah. should. Yeah. You need to go find that, that Hispanic girl. Which one? 
uh, what's her name? Maddie or something like that? Oh, yeah, yeah. From the show? From Euphoria. <laughs> I don't think she does porn. Yeah, I don't think she does that's porn. That's who you need to go that get. That would be so cool, but no, I don't think You that's, need to go get her, my I don't think boy. that's on the table. Yeah, all the girls on that show are hot as shit. Yeah. She's the hottest one. Mm. Yeah, I think so. She was being the... I know she's so. She's in Dyer getting the shit beat out of her? Huh? There was a video that went viral of her getting whooped on. Was that what? not her? That was fake. Okay, Aww. I saw this. I saw this. It wasn't her. Yeah. That's good, because I was thinking, how... I think she'd been a Disney kid or some shit since she was, like, super young and just... I forgot she was even on that felt show. like she would be able to avoid that. Yeah. Was she a Disney kid? I seen what's his name. Yeah. What's his name got into a fight at the homie's house? Who? The same guy from Euphoria. Fez? I guess so, yeah. Fez got his ass whooped? I didn't really get beat up, but he was throwing hands at Who was like it a... Nate Jacobs? He came back to get his. <laughs> I feel like he's non confrontational, Fez. They were fighting at the homie's crib Bro, for sure. Fez seems so stoned. If you could yes. get him mad enough to fight you, you must really be fucking up the vibes. Yeah. Just know, like I would reveal some information about him, but I can't. What? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not you going snort to. coke with him? Stop it. We got to talk about it after. <laughs> um, you know that Action Bronson was supposed to have his role? What? And he turned it down because I, I don't guess, know how that would have worked. Th though. Think about the way it would have been presented. It would have been like, oh, you're Action Bronson, but you're like, you're the drug dealer guy and you're fucking with these high school girls. So he didn't want to do weird, it because yeah. he felt like. That role would make him look like a fucking weirdo. Yeah, He's which right. which makes a lot of sense. But then when you see how big Euphoria is, it's got, got to kind of be like, yeah, well, it's maybe worth I should have just done it. Yeah, yeah. that's nah. crazy. Because Fez doesn't you don't want that stain on your when name. When you see Fez in the show, it seems like he's like nineteen or twenty. Like he's kind of like fresh out of high school, right? So okay. it doesn't really seem creepy. But with Action Bronson, he's clearly older. like in his thirties. You know? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That's definitely a little weird. But I wonder how much that would have affected Action Bronson's career. Probably would have. Made I feel like explode. it would have been too weird. Like it just like it, it wouldn't have lined up right. I don't know. Yeah. You ever fuck Action Bronson? I don't even know who that is. Oh. <laughs> He's a white him. rapper. Okay. He's a legend. You like gangster white there queens, you go. brah? No. You should fuck Big Body Bass. Yeah, you like gangster white boys? Yes, we have a guy named Big Body Bass we want to introduce you to. <laughs> yeah, you like gangster white oh, boys? Oh, Jack Harlow, can he yeah. get it? I do not get the Jack Harlow thing. Really? Like, I don't think he's ugly, but I don't get the hype. I really don't. Wow. So I you're not know. really down with the white like you are portrayed to be. Right. That's what. I, that's the whole point I'm trying to Who's make. Who's a I gangster white boy that you do think is hot? Pete Davidson. He, he falls <laughs> under the gangster umbrella? I think it's. Uh, I don't think it's gangster. That was I think a joke, right? If you right? have tattoos, you're just automatically gangster. A little rough around by the edges. Society. That's yeah. not our definition of gangster. In our not definition, you yeah, have I don't either, think that would be my. You got to be either, in a but... gang or be doing some gangster ass shit. You can't yeah. just be Pete Davidson with a fucking rose tattoo or something. <laughs> <laughs> you I have to have like caught a body. Anymore. I, I would I thought he was hot in like the Ariana Grande days. Really? He you kind of give Ariana vibes a little bit. I get that a lot and I don't see it at all. Would like, you do I didn't Ariana see... Grande porn where you pretend to yeah. be her? <laughs> that would be funny as fuck. I don't think <laughs> I'll yo, be Pete Davidson. <laughs> <laughs> yo, rest in peace. Yo, rest in peace. You gotta get like a Mac Miller like like Oh Lord. He was my favorite. Look, look alike. Wow, I'm not gonna say the joke that I just probably my... had. Yeah, you loved like him. that would be my type of guy. Mac Miller. Yes. Okay. He he's gangster too. Okay. Nah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mac... Rest his soul. I'll give Mac Miller more type. gangster than Pete Davidson for sure. Oh yeah, for sure. But they say Pete Davidson got a porno dick. Yeah, I've heard that. Okay. That's crazy. He just has big dick energy, I think. He's tall. Yeah. I mean, he's dating Kim Kardashian. She, like, like exclusively has only dated black guys her whole life. And all of a sudden, Pete Davidson pops up. You assume he got a thing on him. I still don't think that's real. Like, something has to be. He has a tattoo of her kids' names. Yeah. That's no, wild. he did not. The initials, yeah. I think. Yeah. fucking wild. He's a fucking weirdo for that. I'm yeah. sorry. That's out of pocket. He should have kept that to himself. I was on his team until he fucking sent Kanye a picture of him in Kim's bed. That's yeah. when I was like, yes, he's finally pocket. standing up for himself. I was hyped out on him pocket. after that. I would have pulled up. Out of, yeah, same. I Kanye, where you at? I would have pulled up. In your up. bitch's bed. I would have been fighting. Yeah, I would have pulled up. I'm team Kanye now. Like that shit. I would have not cared about what nobody had to say. I would have pulled up. Yeah. But I feel like you've never cared about a guy that much to go beat the shit out of a girl for him. Yeah. You don't, you do, no. you don't you're get not putting it out there if you have been. Well, I don't like physically fight. I do like. Leave mean messages. Yeah, you Emotional feel like you just say warfare. Right. You say, you just, just say mean stuff. Yeah, I just like fuck with their head. Like I'll do something. Are you involved in an ongoing lawsuit? Yes. With. I just had a meeting this morning about it. Actually. How's that going? 
legally. I don't think I should talk about mm, it, but it's going well. It's going well for me. Right. Let's say that. Let's just say that uh, I'm friendly with both sides of this thing, and it's a wild tale. But I shall not it's repeat it because it's, it's, it's a little much. I don't hate the girl though. I don't hate her. Really? Off yeah. camera? Can we? Can you tell me? Yes, off camera. I'll tell yeah. you, or just fucking Google me. But oh, really? Yeah. Like I don't hate the girl. Okay. It was just some words were said between both of us. I was acting in defense. Harsh accusations, just, though. Yes, from both sides, I think, though. But my intention was never, like, I'm going to ruin your career. Like, it was, she said something about me, I retaliated. And it was like, hmm. I don't hate her. I was just like, if you say something about me, I'm going to defend myself. And it got a little out of hand. <laughs> I would need uh, brushing up on this topic because I don't remember exactly how it went down. Yeah, but it's in legally. the legal. Legally, I can't. Yeah. Yeah. Legally, I can't say too much, but mm. it's... Unless you want to just throw throw the case out the window real quick. For, yeah, Just for us, you know? Basically. Do some Elon Musk shit and just yeah. talk yeah. about it, air it out. Yeah. What um What do you got planned for the future in terms of, like, taking your shit to a new level? The acting classes is a big deal. Yeah. Music? No. No music? You don't rap? No. You, gotta, you have a, a very, like, calming voice. Thank you. You're welcome. You thought about being a YouTuber and shit or what? Yeah. You should I do ASMR videos. I, I actually love ASMR shit. But do it. Yeah, I've thought about doing YouTube or Twitch or something, but I just, I don't know if that's me. I thought about, I think I'm going to direct at some point. I just uh. don't, I don't know if I would be a good director. I don't know if people would listen to me. Well, I mean. It's my only. You have a lot of experience. I do. I just don't think people would take me seriously. Yeah, you might have to ditch this whole Cruella DeVille persona you got going on. Kinda Cruella DeVille. DeVille. Like you're kind of like, you got this like sort of, I'm sexy, <laughs> but I'm nasty, and I'm kind of shitting DeVille on you. Cruella DeVille wasn't sexy. I'm going to make you feel bad, but I'm, I'm going to do it so in a nice. hot way. I'm so nice. Yeah? I don't know. Okay. I'm a Taurus, if that. But that means nothing to both. He's a Taurus, either, too. No, you're no. a Taurus? I'm a Leo. Okay. Tourist. Tourist. <laughs> Where? Here. Yeah, I've been here my entire <laughs> 28 years of living. Fair enough. What's your sign? Sag. Okay. When is that? November? Mm -hmm. November 24th. I was literally at your birthday dinner. Thanksgiving baby. Yeah. 38 right. baby. Oh. Turkey when, baby. When is. <laughs> Call me Turkey baby. When is Taurus again? May. I just had my birthday. Oh. How old did you turn? 25. 25. Wow. Oh, how was that? I'm grown now. Yeah, you're an adult. I'm adult. Grown ass woman now. Yeah, that pussy can't be grown. Doing, can't be doing these fucking. Can't be playing these little games anymore. I gotta be grown. You got grown pussy now. <laughs> that's disgusting. No, nah, I don't want to like, have young pussy though. Yeah, exactly. Mm, that's yeah. true. I'd but, rather have grown. Pussy. But okay, you know how there's like old man strength. What? Yeah. You know, like yeah. you like as you get older, like if you're fucking 37. You're just going to be like way bigger and stronger than the average like 18 year old. Like you just when you look at like a 50 year old man, there's just that kind of like, oh, they'll just beat the shit out of you. Like there's the old man's strength. Yeah. But then there's like a certain level where it's like, oh, you're too old. And like, I'm going to fuck you up, old man. Yeah. yeah. Then you're like 65 and it's like you're just getting pushed down the stairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But do you feel like you have like grown woman pussy? Like it's just <laughs> it's kind of gotten better with age in a way. Like, is there a wine effect to it? I definitely feel more feminine. A wine effect. I feel more feminine throughout each year. And you know what you want more? Yeah. I like, I started porn feminine. when I was 21. Mm. I turned 21 that week. So four years. That was, a, that was a good way to celebrate your 21st birthday. Yeah. Well, a lot of girls get in yeah. right at 18 these days. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think the it's age should weird. be 21. 21. Yeah, you should probably mm. wait it out a little bit. Because even I felt like I was kind of pushing it, and I was 21. I was like, I knew what was going on, but like, if I was 18 doing this, I would have no fucking clue what I was doing. Mm. You need a chaperone. Not you, but if you're like getting into it at that young of an age, yeah. it's like, well, it should be do. like the equivalent of like a lawyer or like a representative yeah. because there's so many girls that get into it at that age and they really don't know how to handle their candle. Well, they se. do. Handle their scandal. Mm. Yeah. Well, they do have chaperones, fucking like suitcase pimps. Handle their brand deal. Do you think we're ever going to fuck again? That didn't work. <laughs> Is it likely? I mean, it's on camera, so it's, it's all business. Yeah, if it's on camera, I'm not right. going to... Are you dreading the day, or would you be all right with it? <laughs> I'd be all right with it. Is it, like a, is it like a horrible thing to imagine? No. Okay. I I'll probably be, was good. I'll probably be better at it by then, too. Okay. 
you like going to learn some new tricks by yeah, then? Yeah. My capillaries might expand by then too. Just I might have like an extra millimeter. It. If you think too hard, it's not going to be good. Yeah. My veins might be better. On a scale of one to ten, how was his dick game? She don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> so that means it was not. It was <laughs> not memorable. I do a scene and I forget all about it. I don't. I just. That sounds Works like you got so some, some type of I remember, mental problems. I, I remember enjoying fucking her, but it's not like I remember that much right. about it. I could go rewatch the tape and be like, ah, yes. Yeah, so, okay. I remember it was a good day. I had a good time. Mm. It was just kind of, I do this all the time. It's not like, yeah. I wasn't like dwelling on it. I remember it being an epic day because we shot with Kira Noir the same day. And oh my God. Oh, yeah. Who is that? Love she's her. bad. And sexually, she's just, who is yeah. that? Badass porn star. She black. So it was like her and her yeah. back to back. She sounds black. She's black. She's so pretty. Was that racist for me to say that? No. I'm black, so. so well, she yeah. is black, so. She is black, yeah. <laughs> I was right. We're not like talking shit about her being black. <laughs> so we're starting a rumor here. There we go. Oh my God. Okay. Well, uh, thank you so much for coming through. Had a great time. Thanks for having me. No doubt. This is like my second one of these that I've done with you. Who's the other one? Kelly K. Okay, but that was a Patreon. But the, this is this is a regular interview for some reason. Yeah, because we're not trying to tell her to take the titties out. I mean, if you want to, Man. if you want to, go ahead. No, because we have we I'm have wrong. non Patreon employees here. We have to um, clear the room. We have we okay. have certain employees. Leave. All right, get the fuck out, everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can go cop your OnlyFans membership and give us the oh, review. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. I'll give you a free subscription. Oh my god! I'm but you still got to pay in the DMs. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm just giving her advice. He's a simp. I love no, I'm know. not. He'll give you, you know the keys to his works. car. No, she He'll got her own car. Model. Would, do you want her to model for your brand? Would you be into that? Yeah, yeah. Do you like my shoes? He's, yeah, I he's was got a brand. Those actually, he's an entrepreneur. Let me get a pair. What size are you? Seven. I actually might have a seven. You ain't gonna you tag do, him. I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, those I will be looking. mine. What? Looking. Which color are you like? I don't know. I need to look. Okay, there's only three. Let me get a pair. Look, look, Dan. See, look, now, look, look. I got to line Laura up good, with a pair. Good, good. Well, I have to do a photo shoot first, so everybody has to wait, okay? <laughs> you can, you maybe could take a t shirt. Okay. You guys think you might fall in love after this? I yeah. think you're extremely beautiful. Thank you. And you're like kind of like mean. I like that. Right? See, yeah. she got mean bitch I'm swag. Not mean. You have like mean vibe, though. Yeah. I'm literally so nice. I think My I'm girl's just nice. Honest. You are like yeah. cool, yeah, Lennis but Lennis. you're bitchy and you're like kind of harsh, <laughs> but it's honest. sexy, you know? Yeah, it's I'm hot. It's, it's a cool swag. You live in LA? Yeah. Downtown. Let's go on a date. Yeah. Waffle House. Okay. Actually, that's not over here. Start huh? the two Roscoe's. weeks right now. Start the two, two weeks. weeks. Wait, what? Start the, the clock. Timer on. <laughs> You've got two oh, weeks. Oh, yeah. That's cool. I've <laughs> got two weeks. I'll be over in, two, in one week. He's going to take you to Norm's <laughs> first date. Fuck at like McDonald's, three, at like three a.m. There's a bar. Fuck McDonald's. We're going to Norm's. That's a splurge style bar. No, my uh, a bar in one of my songs is. I said she want to go to Nobu. I won't get her a McMuffin. Mm. She want to go to Nobu. I took her to Norm's. I don't get it. You never like, been to Nobu? Yes, I know Nobu. Oh, what okay. do you mean egg McMuffin? I said she wants to go to Nobu, but I wouldn't even get her a McMuffin. That's what I'm saying. Ah, okay, okay. A okay, lot okay, of rap okay. lyrics for some reason at this point in time are like. I'll do this thing, but, but I, won't I won't do this do thing. <laughs> <laughs> and it's kind of like, I don't know I why that's a about. thing, but. <laughs> you guys, you guys yeah. are just not. Uh, like, I wear Versace. This ain't no Old Navy. Doesn't that sound or, like a yeah, rap bar? Or that's like, yes. yeah, yeah, that was good. That's actually. just like that was every fire. rap bar. Or that's like um, how like rappers fucking talk down on beer. Mm -hmm. And they just like. Oh, like I'm drinking this lean. I ain't drinking no Coors. I'll yeah, fuck exactly. your girl, but I won't fuck you. Oh. Oh. That Damn. was not. That, that, like that was a bar to you. you. Yeah. That was a that was a personal bar. Cool, nice, <laughs> sweet. Do you want to do our bitchy energy? <laughs> but we like it. Okay, I'm gonna leave on that note. <laughs> no job, bear. Coolest podcast in the world. Shout out to Little House bow, 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 on the bow, beat. Bow. Like, comment, subscribe. No jumper.com if you want to support. Appreciate y'all.